neighbors, it's Brad here at eTrailer, and today we're taking a look at the Kurt Class 3 trailer hitch for a 2022 Hyundai Palisade. This trailer hitch is a great option for the Palisade, and I say that for a few reasons. It, you're really able to utilize a lot of the towing capacity that this SUV has, and having a family with third row and loaded up, sometimes your cargo or the bikes that you want to take to the park can't always fit. With a two inch trailer hitch like this, you're gonna be able to put your accessories on there and know that it's gonna be able to handle that weight, assuming you're not overloading it. Now, not having a exposed cross tube also is a nice feature in the fact that just the receiver and what you're using hangs out, whereas sometimes you do have bars hanging down, making it a little more unsightly. This gives it an almost OEM appearance. Speaking on the accessories that you're gonna carry, this hitch can handle a gross trailer weight of 5,000 pounds, and that's gonna be the weight of your trailer plus the accessories loaded up. Now, your tongue weight is gonna be 750 pounds, and that's gonna be the downward pressure on the inside of the receiver tube hitch. Now, this can be used with weight distribution, and that's gonna bump our gross trailer weight up to 6,000 pounds. Now, our tongue weight is gonna stay the same at 750. Before hooking up your accessories though, you wanna check the owner's manual of your vehicle to make sure that the vehicle's towing capacity matches what the hitch is doing. Between the hitch's capacity and the vehicle's, take the lower of those two numbers and go with that to stay safe. The hitch is made out of steel, so it's gonna be strong and durable. And going along with that is gonna be the nice black powder coat finish, which not only looks good, but is gonna protect against rust and corrosion long-term. Now, the two inch by two inch receiver tube opening is gonna be great for most accessories that come standard at a two inch. So you're gonna be able to put a bunch of different accessories with this hitch on your vehicle. Now, your safety chain opening here is gonna be a rolled style, and that's gonna be nice and open to allow for a number of different size hooks. Also on the side here, you have a standard 5 8 hitch pin hole and the hitch does not include a hitch pin, but we do have those here at eTrailer, and that is a necessity for your accessory to work. Before attaching your accessories, there's a few measurements that you're gonna to wanna to take into consideration before hooking them up. And one of those is gonna be distance from the receiver tube to the furthest point on your rear fascia. And that's gonna put us right at about two and a half inches. And that's important to note because some accessories will sink in further and you don't want to make any contact with your rear fascia. So make sure you measure those before installing. Something else that's important is going to be the ground clearance. So from the ground to the bottom of the receiver tube, it's about 11 inches. And that's going to be important to note if you're taking your bikes on a mountain bike course, some of those paths can get rough and you may hit some bumps. Something else to consider, your accessories will be sticking out quite a bit. So if you go on an incline, you may have the potential to hit the ground. So while you're driving, keep that 11 inches in mind. The installation process of the hitch on the Palisade is pretty straightforward. There's no major cutting or drilling. I had to make a small little notch on a plastic piece, but nothing major. All the hardware is supplied and you should be able to do this on your driveway. Now, if you're still kind of questioning whether or not to do it, I'm gonna walk you through how to do it and you'll see the steps and you can be the judge. We're gonna begin our installation and the first thing we're gonna do is take our spare tire down. So if you haven't done this before on your vehicle, you're gonna want a nine millimeter socket and you're gonna see this little gearbox up here. And what that's gonna do as we loosen it up is going to drop this cable and the spare tire will come with it. Now, very important, normally, as you can see, I try to tighten or try to loosen it. You are actually turning it clockwise to allow this to drop down. Once you have your spare tire dropped down, you're gonna want to lift it up and then this will actually come out. Now, set this aside and we'll put it up later. On our driver's side, we're gonna be removing this underside panel. Now you have three little push pins here and so, you can use a flathead screwdriver and put it in the slot, give it a quick turn, and they should come out pretty easy. Now, 
Now we have two 14 millimeter plastic nuts here. So when you're loosening them up, they should come off pretty easy and don't use a power tool on it just because they are plastic. Put a little downward pressure when loosening those up and they're gonna work their way out and you're gonna have your panel come off. Set this aside with your spare tire and we'll put it on later. We're also gonna to need to lower our exhaust down. Now, before we start pulling off the exhaust hangers, I like to run a strap underneath the exhaust and that way that unsupported weight has something to rate, hold against and it's not putting stress on the rest of the exhaust. So I can hook on to our gas tank strap here. Again, the, the exhaust isn't a ton of weight, so it's not gonna be supporting enough or a lot, just enough to kind of hold it in place. Okay, I'm gonna cinch it up just a little bit. And now we can start pulling off our exhaust hangers. So to get to our exhaust brackets and pull those off, you're gonna see these little plugs here. Now, sometimes this rubber can get kind of tough to feed those out. So I'm gonna use just a lubricant silicone spray if you have penetrating oil or something along those lines, that'll also work. Just something to kind of lube that up to get it moving. So there's a total of four of them that we'll be tackling. And I'm going to use a pry bar. This seems to work pretty well. And especially here you have some metal to pry against. And a simple push should release it. We'll work our way back. So now with the help of a friend, we're gonna actually put the hitch in place. So grab a long bolt, each person, we're gonna slide it up here. And we're just gonna feed one through, just to kinda hold it in place. We have our bolt in place and that's holding the hitch. Now we're actually gonna run a bolt through the proper way to cinch it down. So we have our conical tooth washer. And if you look at the side here, it does have little teeth on it and you're gonna want that facing in towards the hitch. Now, this little plastic piece here can kind of get in the way, so I suggest putting the washer up there, and you may have to kind of move this around to get it through. You might even push this up if possible. Trying to feed the bolt through here, we are running into some issues with this plastic clip. So what I'm gonna do is just cut off a little bit of it and that way we can get our bolt through there. With that cut out of the way, that should give us enough clearance to feed this through. Now, if you're having trouble getting it to line up, just kind of lift the hitch and move it side to side. Now, let's feed this washer first, and that way we can pass that plastic. There we go. On this other side, we're gonna put our conical tooth washer, again, facing towards the teeth, facing towards the metal, and then hand tighten this on. Now that we have this one in place, we're gonna repeat the same process on the other side, and we're gonna take out these holding bolts and make sure that we put the conical tooth washer on the other side, and then also finish it up with the washer here, as well as a nut. Before really tightening these down, we're gonna actually install our four bolts and conical tooth washers on the bottom side here. So again, make sure the teeth are facing towards the hitch. So leaving it a little bit loose on the other bolts is going to allow us to kind of shimmy this to make sure that these line up well. And go ahead and hand tighten those in on the other side. So with a 17 millimeter socket, I'm going to zip these four bottom bolts up. And that's going to pull that hitch up and in place. Now you don't have to crank it down too much because we'll be going back with the torque wrench to get the proper torque specifications on it. So now we're gonna do the large bolts once we have all the bottom ones done. And that's gonna be a 19 millimeter. Now you're gonna to wanna to put a 19 millimeter wrench on the other side and tighten it down. We'll also be torquing these down to the proper spec. So again, no need to go crazy on these. 
So now we're gonna go back and tighten those up with a torque wrench and you're gonna wanna use the specified torque specifications in the instruction manual. Now you do have two different size bolts, obviously. They do have different torque settings. So make sure you change for each bolt. If you don't have a torque wrench, we do have those here at E-Trailer. You can also rent them at your auto parts store. So go on the nut side and tighten that down. And as I see, this is actually rotating, so I'm gonna put a wrench on the other side real quick. Now go through and do that with the other three remaining large bolts. So I've changed my torque settings for the 17 millimeters and we're gonna go through and torque those up. So when putting my plastic under panel back, I kind of noticed here, I could get the one side in, but it, we are having a little bit of clearance issues with this bolt sticking out. This one should clear under the plastic, but I'm gonna make just a small little trim mark. So I'm gonna mark that there, and we'll cut a little slot, and that way we can trim that down, and we'll have no clearance issues. So our hitch is installed, torque to specs, and it's pretty well good to go. So all that's left before we hit the road is putting our underbody panel back up, lifting our exhaust and attaching it to the exhaust hangers, and then putting our spare tire up. After that, you're ready to test your hitch out. And that'll do it for a look and installation of the Kurt Class 3 trailer hitch on a 2022 Hyundai Palisade. Thanks for watching.